Hi everyone, welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. Those of you who watch me on Facebook and also on Instagram and on YouTube would know that I really enjoy making uh, resin crystals from um, silicon moulds. So I thought I'd have a go at this National Geographic, National Geographic set um, where I could grow my own crystals and then I can learn how to make the silicon moulds and then I'll have my own unique um, moulds to make my resin crystals from. So in the kit, it came with this crystal growing powder um, and a little tumbler, which is in front of me now. And I'm just going to put the crystals into the uh, little tumbler there. Um, they're just like, a bit, it looks like jelly really. Um, it comes with three different colors. So I decided to do the purple one first. Um, so I'm just about to add those crystals into the little tumbler here. Um, here we go. Okay, just popping those in there. And then I'm going to um, boil a jug of water. There's a line on the little cup here for one cup worth of um, water. I could do this in a jar as well. You don't have to do it in the container that was provided. Um, but I decided to just do that and see how I went with it. So I'm just about now to add in the boiling water, hopefully. Here I go. And then I'm going to, once I get that up to the um, line there, I'm going to then just stir this for two minutes as per the instructions. So it really is like making jelly. That's what it reminded me of anyway. Um, so I'm just going to get the little stirrer and just showing there, I'm going to stir for two minutes. So I won't bore you with that. Um, now I'm going to add in the seed rock, which is just a little hard uh, rock that you place into the bottom of the um, container there. And all the instructions come with the box, of course. And I had actually waited 10 minutes for that to cool down before I put the seed rock in. Um, you just need it to not be quite so boiling. So um, 10 minutes had elapsed there. I'm just trying to center the little seed rock in the bottom of my container. And then I'm going to leave it for four days in an area where it's not going to be disturbed at all um, and see what actually happens. So hopefully it will work. And here we are back after four days and I took it out of the container and look at that beautiful crystal. I couldn't believe my eyes. So I have to learn what to do now to um, put silicon around that, uh, whether I have to protect the crystals with something first, I don't know. But I'll do another video once I get to that point and show you what I do. But I'm really, really happy with how this little crystal turned out. 